Hello! Today, I will inform you about the seven wonders of the ancient world. First, let's list the wonders of the ancient world. Great Pyramid of Giza, Giza, Egypt, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Babylon, Iraq, Temple of Artemis with Ephesus, Turkey, Statue of Zeus, Olympia, Greece, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus e Bodrum, Turkey, Colossus of Rhodes, Rhodes, Greece, Lighthouse of Alexandria, Alexandria, Egypt. Our first wonder is the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is not only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but it is also the only one still standing today. The Great Pyramid of Giza is located on the Giza Plateau, just outside of Cairo, Egypt. This enormous structure was built by Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops, during Egypt's Old Kingdom period. Between 2584 to 2561 BC, it is estimated that the construction took about 20 years. The pyramid's original height was 146.6 meters, but over time, due to erosion and the loss of the top portion, it now stands at 138.8 meters. Its base is approximately 230 meters long and is composed of 2.3 million stone blocks, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons. The Great Pyramid of Giza is astonishing not only for its size, but also for its construction techniques. How the ancient Egyptians transported and placed such large and heavy stone blocks remains largely unknown. Some theories suggest the use of ramps and pulleys. Modern scientists and engineers still have not fully deciphered the technologies and methods used in the pyramid's construction. The internal structure of the pyramid is also quite complex, consisting of various sections such as the Queen's Chamber, the King's Chamber, and the Grand Gallery. Inside the King's Chamber, there is a large granite sarcophagus, and the purpose and use of this chamber remain subjects of debate. Surrounding the Great Pyramid of Giza are smaller pyramids and burial chambers built for Khufu's family and close relatives. Nearby, there is also the Pyramid of Khufu's son, Khafur, and the famous Great Sphinx. In conclusion, the Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the ancient world's engineering and architectural marvels. Its construction mysteries, dimensions, and structural integrity have fascinated people throughout history. Even today, the secrets of this colossal structure have not been fully unraveled, making it even more intriguing. My favorite wonder is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which I will discuss next. Please share your favorite wonder in the comments. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are considered one of the most enchanting structures of the ancient world. It is said that these gardens were built around 600 BC by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife Amidus to provide her with a lush, green environment reminiscent of her homeland's natural beauty. The gardens were constructed on a series of massive terraces stacked on top of each other. Each terrace was adorned with a variety of trees, flowers, and plants. Despite the harsh and dry climate of Mesopotamia, a sophisticated irrigation system was used to keep the gardens green and vibrant. This system was advanced enough to bring water from nearby rivers to the top terraces. The hanging gardens are described in detail in ancient sources. They are believed to have been built because Queen Amidus missed the natural, green landscape of her homeland, media modern-day Iran. According to legend, King Nebuchadnezzar created these captivating gardens to alleviate his wife's homesickness. The Hanging Gardens are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. However, there is still ongoing debate among archaeologists about their exact location and construction. Today, archaeological studies and research on ancient written sources continue to seek more information about these legendary gardens. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon symbolize how human ingenuity can harmonize with nature. Even today, these structures continue to captivate as a testament to the remarkable engineering and aesthetic intelligence of the ancient world. The Temple of Artemis, considered one of the largest and most magnificent temples of the ancient world, is our third wonder. Located in the ancient city of Ephesus, in modern-day Turkey, this temple was completed around 550 BC and dedicated to Artemis, the goddess of hunting, nature, and fertility. The temple was notable for its grand marble columns, decorations, and statues. It was approximately 115 meters long and 55 meters wide. The engineering and architectural techniques used in its construction represented the most advanced structural achievements of that period. The history of the Temple of Artemis is rich and complex. It was first constructed in the 7th century BC 
and rebuilt several times. The temple suffered damage from various disasters and invasions, but was restored each time. The area around the temple became an important center for religious and cultural activities. In addition to the Temple of Artemis, Ephesus is also known for other significant religious and historical structures, such as the House of the Virgin Mary. The Temple of Artemis, as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, offers visitors a journey filled with history and mythology. Today, the ruins of the Temple of Artemis can be seen in the ancient city of Ephesus. This ancient structure remains a major attraction for history enthusiasts and archaeologists, serving as an important stop for anyone interested in exploring the rich cultural heritage of the ancient period. Before moving on to the fourth wonder, please consider supporting me by liking, commenting, and subscribing, as creating such videos requires extra energy, research, and effort. Now, let's continue with the video. Our fourth wonder is the Statue of Zeus. The Statue of Zeus was a massive statue dedicated to Zeus, one of the greatest gods of ancient Greek mythology. The statue was created in the 5th century BC by the famous sculptor Phidias and was located in the ancient city of Olympia. It was considered one of the largest and most magnificent statues of its time. The Statue of Zeus stood about 12 meters 40 feet tall and depicted Zeus seated. Valuable materials such as gold and ivory were used in its construction giving the statue a dazzling appearance. The throne on which Zeus sat was adorned with figures and decorations symbolizing his power and authority. The statue was located in the main hall of the Temple of Zeus in Olympia, one of the religious centers of ancient Greece. It was inaugurated during a ceremony that honored Zeus. Coinciding with the Olympic Games, the statue held significant touristic and religious importance for visitors. Unfortunately, the statue of Zeus has not survived to the present day. We know about it through ancient descriptions and sketches. The statue represents the pinnacle of Phidias's artistry and is an essential example for understanding the artistic and religious heritage of ancient Greece. The statue of Zeus was a vital work reflecting the artistic and religious heritage of the ancient world and is remembered today as a fascinating part of Greek mythology and art. Our fifth wonder, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, was a large tomb built for Mausolus, the satrap of Caria, by his wife and sister, Artemisia. Around 353 BC, the mausoleum was located in Halicarnassus, modern-day Bodrum, Turkey, and was considered one of the greatest tomb monuments of the Hellenistic period. The mausoleum was situated on a hill approximately 45 meters high. Its facades were adorned with friezes, reliefs, and sculptures crafted with the artistic skill of the time. The mausoleum's design and construction involved several prominent artists of the period. After Mausolus's death, Artemisia completed the monument in his honor, and it became the prototype for the term mausoleum used for monumental tombs today. Although the mausoleum at Halicarnassus eventually fell into ruins and was destroyed, it remains an important structure in history. Its remains and artifacts are displayed in the Archaeology Museum in Bodrum. The mausoleum, both architecturally and artistically significant, is a symbol that conveys the historical and cultural heritage of ancient Caria and Bodrum to the present day. Our sixth wonder is another statue, the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the largest and most impressive statues of the ancient world. It was built at the entrance of the harbor of the city of Rhodes on the island of Rhodes. The statue was completed in 280 BC and was considered one of the greatest works of art of its time. Unfortunately, the Colossus of Rhodes was destroyed by an earthquake in 26 BC, shortly after its construction. The statue's remnants remained on the shoreline for many years before eventually being sold off. The destruction of the statue served as a lesson about the durability and vulnerability of great structures in the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes is remembered as one of the greatest and most important statues of the ancient world and stands as a testament to the peak of ancient engineering and artistry. Our seventh and final wonder is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the most famous lighthouses of the ancient world, was located in the city of Alexandria, Egypt, built during the Ptolemaic Kingdom around the 3rd century BC. The lighthouse served as a guide for ships coming into Alexandria, one of the most important ports in the Mediterranean. The lighthouse was estimated to be about 120 to 137 meters, 394 to 449 feet tall, making it one of the tallest structures of its time. 
Designed by the great architect Sostratus, the lighthouse was a massive tower with a large mirror or fire at the top, allowing sailors 